Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, I get asked lots and lots of questions about monitor size, specifically, what's the best monitor size for a triple monitor setup? Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about why I think 27 inches is the sweet spot. Now, I know this is all subjective, and I'm not saying that my opinion is the right one by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm going to explain my thought process and what's important to me when picking a monitor for a triple monitor setup. Now, before we get going, I want to say a massive thank you to BenQ. They have provided me with three monitors for me to use on my triple monitor setup. Now, I was quite specific with the monitors that I wanted, and to be fair to BenQ, they would have probably sent me anything that I asked for, but I wanted 27-inch, I wanted 1440, I wanted 165 hertz, I wanted one millisecond response time, and I wanted the screens to be flat. So this is the monitor that we've chosen. It's the BenQ EX2710 Q monitor. Now this ticks all of the boxes as far as I'm concerned. It's flat, it's 27 inch, it's 1440 resolution, one millisecond response time at 165 hertz. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is the physical size of the monitor and the impact that will have on the footprint of your rig. Now over the years I've had various different monitors. I've had triple 24s, triple 27s, triple 32s, triple 40s, and I've gone back to the 27s. One of the main reasons is the footprint that my rig now has. Now, for context, I'm in a, an old converted garage where the cars used to go. I've got this rig and I've got one rig behind me. From the end of my pedal deck to the back of my seat, it's about 132 centimeters, that's 52 inches. And it's about the same from the edge of this monitor to the edge of that monitor so it's really important that my rig is nice and compact so as you can see the wheelbase is tucked right up underneath the center monitor with most of it sticking out of the back the steering wheel is about five inches from the screen so the bigger the monitor is the further away it has to be from your eyes to keep that one-to-one -one ratio so everything looks in proportion yes with the bigger screen you're going to get a bit more vertical field of view but unless your monitor is behind your wheelbase I don't think you're going to benefit from it. For example, a 32-inch screen, I don't think is big enough to be placed behind the wheelbase for you to take advantage of that extra field of view. So everything on screen would just seem bigger than it is in real life. Yes, you can adjust this with the camera settings in the sim, but you would just end up moving the dash down and seeing more of the sun strip, or at best, a few more clouds. So now we're going to talk about resolution and cost. Now, for me, if you're on 24 inches or below, I think you can perfectly get away with 1080p for sim racing. No question. 27 inches, 32 inches, 1440 is where you want to be. If you're going to go higher than that, then you need to be in 4K territory. 4K screens are ridiculously expensive to buy. And don't forget the hardware that you're going to need to push all of those pixels. You're going to need some kind of supercomputer. Now, if immersion is your thing and you want to see the side of the door cards underneath the dash, then obviously bigger is better. But bear in mind, the bigger you go, the bigger your rig is going to be. So, for example, if you look at the setup or the incredible setup from Boosted Media, they use triple 65 inch screens. So the footprint of that rig is going to be significantly bigger than mine. As I mentioned, the bigger the screen is, the further away from you it has to be. So I'm guessing that the distance from the rear of Boosted Media's wheelbase to his centre monitor would be approaching two foot. So you can imagine the floor space needed for this kind of setup. The last thing to consider is power consumption. The bigger the screen, the more money it's going to cost you to run them every single month. Plus, they're probably going to be a little bit hotter than a smaller screen. They're going to emit more light. It's going to make you nice and toasty as you sit in your rig. Right, so this is how it looks from my point of view. The GoPro's higher than my eyes, so you need to bring things down maybe three inches or so. But as you can see, the field of view with 27-inch monitors is incredible. Superb. Everything's in proportion. Everything looks... So it is where it should be. I always use the passenger side mirror as my reference point. Now, if you look left, this is pretty much what I would see out of my car. See out of the driver's side window, 
the driver's side door there. Can't quite see the pillar there, the door pillar. Move over to the right. Well, the, the passenger seat would be here. So I can't quite see that unless I turn my head all the way to the right. But the passenger side mirror is almost at 45 degrees, which is where it is in my car. And I always use that as my reference points when sizing up my monitors. So I always make sure the dash is lined up nicely. And then the, the passenger side mirror is at about 45 degrees. Then things are lined up for me perfectly. So I'll take you for a lap just so you can see what it's like on the move. Now I haven't got the bezel um, eliminators on or the Asus bezel free kit. I wanted to show you what it's like with the bezels on. And you can see on these BenQ monitors, they're actually quite small. They're not very big at all. There is a slight overlap from the side screens just behind the centre monitor. Only, only very slight. There's no gaps. Absolutely perfect. Now, what I like doing when I do my point of view videos and when I show people the triple screens, I like to get rid of the UI so there's nothing on there that's going to mess up with the display or make it look like a game i also try and make it look as realistic as possible so we've got no virtual mirror on there you can see we're actually using the cockpit mirror you can adjust that there and it's actually quite usable in the tcr so i i've got no desire at all to move from 27 inch screens i think this is absolutely perfect for the reasons that i've stated in this video the right resolution the right distance from my eyes to make sure it's nice and crisp it's close to my eyes and it makes things makes the rig nice and compact obviously the side screens aren't as wide as they would be if they were bigger so 32s 40s 55s, 65s, it just makes the floor space needed to run that kind of rig absolutely ridiculous. And obviously, the bigger the monitor, well, the more resolution you need, which means the price goes up and up and up. And the bigger monitors, obviously, use a bit more energy than the smaller monitors. But for me, 27 inches, as you can see, Pretty darn perfect. So there we go. That's a few reasons why I'm using 27-inch screens. The footprint of the rig's nice and small. 1440 resolution is perfect. They don't give off too much heat. They're not as expensive as 4K. That's why I think 27 inches is perfect for my setup. Again, I want to say a massive thank you to BenQ for sending me these monitors. I will leave a link to them down below in the video description. Genuinely, I can't recommend these monitors highly enough. If you want a really good 27-inch monitor, then please don't overlook these. They are perfect. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.